Hi folks, welcome. 21st of August, Friday. And yeah. Yeah, I've just been continuing my my teapot. Just made another teapot here. And I'm just gonna do do another one right now, which will be a cane handled variety. Something ugh, along the lines of that, which will have two lugs for a, a cane handle. So, yeah. Yeah, I told you I had this order, you know, from Holland and I've got like tw 10 teapots, but they're supposed to be hold no more than a pint. I've never made a teapot in my life to a specific capacity. So I'm finding I'm, 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 I always used to make teapots. They always used to be two pounds, but I don't know what, I'm just getting, maybe I've just been getting better, but now I, I can make the same size teapot as I always used to. I make it out of a lot less clay. So even a pound and a half now is, is kind of too much clay. So this is actually a pound and a quarter. So the plan is to, to paddle it with this paddle. Um, so let's do it. I've got a bit of clay over there for a spout and a lid. Let's bring the camera in so you can see a bit a bit closer. Oh, I know you like to see what's going on. How about like that? Let's see how we go. Yes, so 20 ounces, pound and a quarter. So the inside of a teapot, I generally, I don't make it like flat, flat on the base, like a, say a, a mug or a tankard got more of an inside form, more like a the inside of a bowl. So just getting a bit of height here. De Keeping it a little bit in at the top. And I'm not thinning it out too much because I'm gonna I'm gonna paddle this and then expand it. So you see the outside here, what I want to do is I'm just going to use my throwing stick and making it to smooth the outside. I don't want any other competing throwing rings. All right. It's not that we don't like throwing rings. It's just that I'm, I'm putting a different pattern on there. I don't want to have. So I'm going to use this, which is a wooden, a wooden just making sure it's thoroughly wet. Remember, if you do any of this paddling, don't use a, something that is absorbent, like a piece of wood that is dry, otherwise the clay will just stick to it. 
you need to wet it, get it thoroughly wet, okay, and then you want to take your hand and put your hand inside, not like that, but like that, you see, so my fingers sort of form the form, the inside form, putting it down inside at the bottom there. Sometimes but keep wetting it, otherwise it will start sticking. Okay, that looks pretty beaten up, doesn't it? Yeah, I know. All right, don't be too perturbed. Don't get too, too precious about how it looks at this stage. It will tend to look a little bit messy. All right, so, so I'm just, what I'm gonna do now is just true up the, true up the top of the pot somewhat. Okay, like that, and I, I, I put a kind of, a groove, if you will, like that at the top. Are we in the picture? Can you see what on earth I am doing? Yes, okay, good. So that little groove there is important because that is gonna keep the top of the pot in. Because what we gotta do now is, is some expansion. <laughs> so I can take this guy, one of these, and it can be any kind of sponge, well, I'm going to use this one for now. I'm going to go down, right down into here. Put a bit of water in that groove. And I'm going to start at a very base to start to just expand it, to true it up. Sometimes these kind of pots are more successful than other times. Sometimes I'm a bit heavy-handed with my my clobbering of it, and I and I kind of you can mortally wound the pot by hitting it a little bit too hard, and then it makes it very thin in a certain spot. I'm just going to just true this up a bit here with my needle tool, just to get rid of that. Okay. Right, let's get down in there. Looks like we've got work to do, doesn't it? Looks like we got work to do. To be honest, the paddle I used is really better for a slightly bigger pot. A little bit small. Yeah. 
not altogether happy with what I am seeing, I have to be honest. But that's all right. Got a, like a, a, a line across it. Can you see that? Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, see that line there? It's going all the way down across there. I don't know what, what that is. Unless that was the, might have been the side of the paddle. Oh dear. That's all right. It's good to see not just the good pots, but you got to see it sometimes. See the bad pots as well. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to take the top of the pot now. going to close it close it in you see what it's done it's sort of getting a bit of the wiggles it's getting wiggly ah, it's getting wiggly yeah well, all right I'm going to create a flange there you see, when it's like this, in this sort of state, you see the pot is, has got sort of, uh, it's kind of a bit, a bit, a bit, it's a little bit floppy. So, but you'll watch what I do when I put the flange in. It will stiffen up the form. Okay, so to make a flange for a lid, put your finger where you think you're going to put the lid. Put your thumb on your finger, put your other finger on the inside of the pot. We're going to lift that up. Are you ready? One, two, three. There it is. One flange. Okay, you see how to do that. Pull it up. Okay, now I'm going to just thin that flange out a little bit and get it to the right angle. You see. Now I'm going to, there's a change of angle actually here, where the angle comes in slightly flatter. Let's see if I can. I'm just going to get rid of that. So this shoulder here where I'm pointing, okay, that's where the pot is coming up, the, up the side here, and then it's changing at that point, and the angle is flattening off. Okay, that's... That's an important... So what I'm trying to do is... Trying to, I'm trying to drop it in like that more, you see. So we're getting more of an angle here. If you follow me. Now I don't want that to be just dead straight though. I want it to be slightly bowed. So we're going to actually just lift it a touch. These are all little, very subtle little things that, um, yeah. So this will be actually trimmed at the bottom here.
Yes, unfortunately this one has not really come out quite as as well as I'd hoped, but so I'm just measuring that now. So you want to measure that before you lift it off the wheel. Get that, get the width there at the top. And um, yeah, I'll have to doctor that up a little bit. That uh, I don't know, it's got a funny line coming across. It extends from there all the way to there. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> not sure what, what quite sure what caused that, but all right. What I'll do is I'll give it a quick a quick blast with my friend here. So on a form like this, uh, it, we've got coming up from the foot, rising, bellying, and then we get to this shoulder, and then we have a change of angle, and then there, where the flange is created, we've got another change of angle. These, are, these angles create stability in the top of the pot. Just bear that, bear that in mind. When you create an angle like that, you create stability in the form. Just get the cut off wire and we'll just cut him off. We'll put him on. When I do teapots, I like to I just put him on a bat, you know. Let's just pull back the camera such with my clay hands. Alright, I've cut him. I'm gonna palm lift him off like this, okay? Okay, so being 20 ounces, he's not, he's, he's not very, he's not very heavy. Okay, I'm going to put him here, and I'm going to quickly throw, throw the, the lid. Got some clay here. Just pull off a, what do I think I'm going to need for the lid? Something like that, I think. Okay, let me do the old lid. So we got we've got we've measured for the lid, so I've just basically So we're going to get him looking something like that. And now we're going to break in. Don't go too thin in the lid here, through the base. Don't go too thin. Because um, you're going to want to trim the, the top of the lid, the, under, the reverse side of the lid. You want to trim it. So if you're not very skilled yet at making lids, this is the kind of lid you want to do. This kind of simple cap lid, that's what I call it, a cap lid. Okay, just measure that. Okay, 
All right, we're just going to clean the outside here. Throwing stick like that. Double there. All right, one measurement, one more time. Cut him off. Okay. So use your fingertips, lift it from the far side first, and then walk your fingers underneath, and he'll come up like that. You see? What could be easier? Right, spout. Spout. Yeah. Do. I've got a couple of other teapots to show you uh, before we quit today. I'll just show you that right after I've done this spout. Okay, push, push through right to the wheel head and now widen, just widen them at the base. Okay, and now let's bring in the camera for the spout because I know that's there's a small item and he gets a bit far away, doesn't he? How about that? Let's do a spout. Now, a spout is actually important with a teapot that you do throw the spout well because the spout sits on the side of the teapot and gives to the teapot a, for, a, a, a sense of gracefulness and elegance. And if you don't throw the spout nicely, it'll make the teapot, it will feel by its looks, it will feel kind of like there's something wrong with it, you know. It just doesn't, it doesn't look right, you know, there's something. So, you see how I'm doing this? Like this, squeezing it, constricting it. But you know, like when you can, you see, I've, I've narrowed that in now. But of course, by doing that, I've made the, the thickness here much too thick. So I'm going to stick my pinky finger right down inside to the, the bottom here and I've got a I'm using I'm, I'm my pinky as my in my inside lifting finger you see like that and then I'm lifting and, and making the making the spout a little bit longer but now I've got it and now I'm constricting it in again you see so that's what you do you you you, you put your finger in like that and you and you you make it the wall thinner but it gets a bit wider when you do that so then then you've got to constrict it back in again and you sort of go like a a yo-yo like that you see so I'm thinning out the wall of the spout because that's what you don't want the spout the wall of the spout to be thick it looks horrible and it pours horrible Okay, can you see some gracefulness coming into this teapot? This this curve here on the side, this curve here is all important. All right. Now, I use I have a favourite rib, one of these, which I. Once you're satisfied that this here is the right. the right size, the, the business end of the spout, 
what I like to do is, is use a, a, a rib carefully like this and I smooth it and clean it, you see, in the process, taking off that, getting it nice and getting it to look, look nice. All right, that's about it. Right, now. No, I just got to revisit it. I just seen something which I'm not happy with. That's it, you see, it happens, isn't it? You've just seen something that you're not happy with, so you've got to go back to it and just make that little subtle, subtle change. All right, there he is. So now, Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, let's pull back the camera. So, different ways of lifting off spouts. You may have heard me say do it like you can grab it like that. That's one way. Make sure that you've 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 you're taking the slurry off. Otherwise, you'll never get them off. Make sure your hands are, are dry. Okay. So I'm going to actually attack this one like this, okay, lift him, put him here, like that, okay. So there's that teapot, you've seen what's involved in making a teapot. This will have lug handles for a cane handle, teapot, a cane handle. Now let's put that down, I've got here one which I did early, uh, a body, this one, um, which you'll see me finish, uh, I've, got, I've got the spout and the, and the lid here for this one as well, they're done, I've just got to keep them a little bit under wraps because I'm not going to I'm not going to get to them today to put them together. So I've just got a couple more teapots to show you. I'll bring them over actually. So yeah, this is one of these other ones. This style. And that could be with for lugs or a side handle. Okay. That's waiting though for a handle of some description. And then there was this one that I did. I think you don't. I don't think you saw me make it. So when I used that paddle, remember I showed you about that paddle with this sort of honeycomb design. Okay. That is. Again, either for lugs or a side handle. I put a couple of lines at the bottom there and a couple of lines up the top here. Sometimes it's, it works to do that, to put a, if you put lines and then you relate those lines to some other lines, you know. All right, that's those. And then, Got these teapots. Uh, I'll just show you these ones. Well, yeah, I think you've already seen them actually, but they're kind of just drying here. These other little ones I did. You saw them. That was one that you didn't see me make, but I had. I've had knocking around here for a while. That one's got an impressed design, herringbone on the edge of the of the lid, which makes it feel good for lifting. 